today we are getting down to the nitty gritty. We are getting vulnerable. We are getting messy. Right behind me, this door opens to a room, which I call my Monaco room. You may look like a clean person, have a clean house, but most people, they have that room or that closet. The Monica room is a friend's reference. If you guys don't know, she was a very like OCD clean person on Friends and she had this closet that was just piled to the ceiling with junk. That's kind of why I always call it my Monica room as a little bit of a joke. But I have mentioned this room in a couple videos recently. Today we are actually gonna tackle it. I keep putting it off procrastinating, but let's go. All right guys, I have not moved one thing out of the way for this video. This is just what it looks like, okay? It's destroyed, things are everywhere. I don't even know where to begin, to be honest. I mean, there's just stuff everywhere. It's a little overwhelming even being in here. <laughs> That's why I always just like to keep the door closed. So we have a basement and this room, you guys may have seen the video, maybe not. It's not super clean right now. I'm actually getting ready to clean this room too because my parents are gonna be coming into town and staying in here. But I did a little guest bedroom remodel on this room. I think it's super, super adorable now. Guest bedroom all set. We have a bathroom over here. This door right here actually in the bathroom leads to a little storage space, which I showed in a recent video. Um, and then this is the dog room, which is kind of destroyed. And then this room, this is basically a storage room, I guess. I'm literally standing on a blanket right now. There's not even a square inch to stand in here. To explain myself a little bit, when we moved, there were a lot of like home decor pieces or just random things that I wasn't gonna use in this house or haven't found a spot for yet. So a lot of these things are still wrapped in bubble wrap, things from the old house. We have things in here that I just wanna get rid of that I don't use at all. We have holiday decorations in here, lots of books, just like random things that you don't wanna get rid of but you don't know where to put. I, I actually would like to just get it all out of the room and put it in the little storage area that we have, have it organized, labeled in a way that makes sense, and just get this room clean. If you can see the floors, it almost looks like maybe this was like supposed to be a little boy race car room or something. It's a pretty small room to even be a bedroom, so we've talked about making it another guest room because we really don't even need this room for anything right now, but it's a little small for like a queen size bed or anything, so we really don't even know what we want to do with this room. Obviously, would like to do something with the floors, do something with the black trim, the metal on the walls. Would obviously like to do something with that, but I don't really want to even tackle doing those things until I really know what I want to do with the room. Thought about, I could just do an office down here. I'm gonna eventually do an office up on the landing was the plan, but I guess I could have my office down here. Who knows? I think I'm gonna just start clearing things out, making piles, and I hope this video just gives you guys some inspiration. I think most people have those areas of their house that just seem so overwhelming that you keep closing the door like I do. But hopefully this is your inspiration to just do it, tackle it, and you always feel so much better after you do. Let's get started. First off, the cake stamp just kind of rolling around on the ground. Perfect representation of this room. away listening to a podcast if you can see it under all this hair. I'm going to show you guys what I've done so far. Kind of the method to my madness here. I can kind of walk through here now. It's definitely getting 
better. A box for books. This is gonna be for like bags. This is all gonna go in the storage room. This is all blankets and then a couple sconces. So I still have to go through all this stuff. Now all of the glass that was in a lot of these boxes, I unwrapped and I put it all on this ledge here. I still have to figure out what I wanna do with a lot of this. This may look familiar if you've been following me for a while. I feel like a lot of this decor and stuff was used for like my coffee bar at our first house. Um, I remember I got this at our very first house. I used to collect Fiesta wear. I don't anymore. But my style at our very first house was like extremely colorful. Like these were all from Target. I think it is super, super adorable. I still think it's cute and I like it, but I like it. It's not really my style anymore. So do I get rid of it even though I still love it? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. And then my dishes when we first got married almost nine years ago were fiesta wear dishes um they're still all wrapped up in here because i don't know that i'm actually going to get rid of them i don't know maybe you guys can kind of tell i had every different color that fiesta wear pretty much came out with all of our dishes and everything all different colors we didn't have any like matching <laughs> which is so funny because now i'm like all plain um this is fiesta wear Anyway, I just don't use it anymore, so I'm like, do I get rid of it? Do I keep it? Who knows? These things, little like photo ledges, or these were little floating shelves that we had at our old house. I still really like them, and I consider even still using them here in this house. So, I'm not going to get rid of those. These are probably just going to go in a storage room, and I'll keep them wrapped up like this. This is the art that I made when we had our lockdown. <laughs> and I made a video about it and it ended up actually getting a lot of views during that time because I think everybody was at home like making their own art and yeah, I haven't hung it up here or anything but lots of photos and things. See, these are things, let me tell you guys, that I don't know what to do with. Like, this is from our wedding. Do we just hold on to this forever? Like to look back on or do I get rid of it? Like it feels like, oh, you shouldn't be getting rid of this but at the same time, like, I'm not going to do anything with it. So, I don't know. Lots of random things like that. These are all... I should probably wrap these up. But in here, we have all of our, like, frames and things that were hanging up at our old house. A lot of them are still in bubble wrap, and I'm not going to get rid of any of those. I've pulled a few of those out to, like, decorate in some rooms. And then we got kind of this wrapping stuff sort of organized. Lots of bags, tissue paper stickers stuff like that for wrapping and now that I like went through all the stuff I'm like oh my goodness I'm gonna stop buying bags and stuff every year around Christmas I need to actually look at what I have because I have so much look at that an empty box we're feeling good we've got a trash bag here I'm throwing things away these things I think are gonna be donation storage this is all, even in the big trash bag, this is all like blankets and pillows that I just need to put away. And then this stuff right here is all going to be donations if you were following during the decorating my bar cart days. This is all stuff like from decorating my bar cart. I would get a different like dish towel to hang on it every time. We did a 4th of July one. This was probably for like summer. Super Bowl, fall. Oh, we did a pineapple theme. I remember doing that. We got this little guy. I mean, so many of these that I just don't use anymore. Um, little plates, chalkboard, more little plates. Lots of cute stuff. We've got the pineapple lights, so it's funny. I still have a lot of that stuff, but I think it's time to, to donate it. Guys, these shoes have been following me everywhere since 10th grade Sadie Hawkins dance. I mean... 
I remember my mom got them for me at Walmart. Look at, they still literally light up. And I've just always <laughs> had them and taken them everywhere with me because I'm like, they light up. When else are you ever going to find a pair of heels that light up like this? I mean, although I'll probably never, ever wear them, there's just a part of me that feels like I'm supposed to keep them, but maybe it's their time to go because I honestly forgot I had them, but I've just always kept them because I'm like, these are very unique. nothing in here but I feel so good I'm gonna kind of show you guys everything that I ended up doing I did some things off camera last night and earlier this morning and everything is complete now I ended up getting rid of everything on the ledge some things are going to donations some things I made a bin for decor I'm not currently using and I'll show you guys that in a second but this is the room completely empty this closet I actually just use for like winter coats like extra winter coats and stuff that's just what i keep in there but yeah literally nothing is in this room it feels so good so um this piece of art thinking about hanging it on the wall or if i do my office upstairs thinking about doing it there but it's just so big like i just don't know where to put it so it's just staying here for now but yeah what do you guys think we do with this room now Leave a comment, let me know. I mean, floors would have to be replaced. All that metal. This metal was on our kitchen peninsula when we first moved to the house too. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> so I will be itching to get that off and just like do something with this room. I don't wanna start on a project till I have like a clear vision of what I wanna do with this room. So give me all the ideas or do I just I don't know. Do I just turn it into another guest bedroom? I've been cleaning down here all day because my parents are going to be coming this weekend. So I was getting the little guest room all cleaned up. Um, this is the doggy room. I told you guys that uh, earlier in the video. This is where they keep all their toys. Sometimes they'll lounge on this big couch. We've just had this for years. and oh, My nieces made that. Anyway, this is the doggy room. And I decided to make this sort of like a linen closet for now so i actually worked on this last night and reorganized this entire closet folded blankets pillows got rid of things that i don't need anymore so i feel super good about that a lot of this stuff was just in that room like in trash bags or just laying there on the floor <laughs> so feel really good about that this is the guest bathroom which i actually just mopped the floors in here so this is feeling super clean now that that's part of the video but this is our little storage area that all that stuff has got to go that's gonna be donations and then this box i made for decor that i'm not currently using we put the framed photos down here white books those photos I just ended up putting in here. Um, random home decor is in here too. So anyway, I think it feels pretty good. I think we could always do more and make it look even more organized. But for now, this feels great to me. Thank you guys for coming along with me, doing all this organization. You guys did kind of inspire me because I did a poll on YouTube and asked you guys what video you wanted to see next. And this was it, so if you voted, I hope you liked this video. Whether or not you voted, I hope you liked this video. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I really just hope it gave you guys some inspiration. Maybe I shouldn't be standing in here because it's so echoey, but if you guys have that Monica closet or room, this is your motivation to just do it. You'll feel so much better after. I know I do, so don't forget, leave a comment. What are we doing with this room? Because this could be another upcoming project. Anyway, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, haven't subscribed yet. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you really soon in my next video.